I just don't think people believe me. I think 99.9, your country is not the variable of your hustle, my friend. Now the environment and like entrepreneurship is glorified in the US, the UK wants to be more reserved, different, you know, but your hustle, your work ethic, your drive is not predicated on your zip code. Immigration and all that stuff is a big issue. But look at look. immigrants, they put in a lot of work. Maybe because they're coming in from another country, they have a lot more to lose and they're just grinding it out. I'm not saying that every American is like that, you know, not working it out. There are some amazing people who are very successful. Some mm. of them some of them are my mentors. But in general, the the public is not informed enough. Yeah. I mean, we have these immigrants coming in and they see the idealized dream of America. Like, yeah, you can go does there. that exist? It does not. Have, do you think that exists, man? It does to an extent for how much you want to work for it. Yeah, I mean, how much you can grind it up. Yeah. But I mean, like, in today, it's, it's non existence. I mean, even for, like, regular Americans, I mean, it's even hard. I mean, we just brush it on the road. We are so privileged and baby throughout our whole lives that we're just like, oh, this is, oh, what are usually, this is what it is. I mean, we have it so good already, so why do I need to focus on other issues and importance like elderly people? But I mean, like with immigrants, yeah, they can, I mean, I'm all for them coming in here if they want to. Legally. Yeah, legally, and if they want to be better their lives and stuff, then Yes, I mean, I'm for that. I'm for, I'll be willing to help anyone who's willing to do that because that takes a lot of guts and effort to come out of your own like, country and travel all this way on nothing and in pursuit of like your own happiness, your own dream. And that's what we've, as Americans, neglect in our own way in that we see like immigrants and refugees like as a problem, as like, Oh, why are they coming over here and taking our jobs? Well, because all you white people don't want to work these jobs because you're still babied and un you're privileged. I mean, and you complain about, like, money and stuff and you're getting welfare. Get off your butts and go get a job because there's mm -hmm. jobs out there that you can work and you can get paid instead of living off our taxes. And, all and you money. know, I, I think there's something that is lacking is you know, when you go to the marketplace, you have to have some value that people are going to pay for it. Yeah. If you're going into this marketplace with your ego, with your swag, you're going to be wearing something that is not up to the level of that company. He's not going to, yeah. that company's not going to pay you. It's just basic, simple human behavior. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be myself and I'm going to expect the company to pay me. No. Yeah. It's like, man, though. I mean, how, 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 what, why is it so hard for people to just accept it? Like, hey man, it's about progress, it's about cleaning yourself, it's about making yourself better. Because it takes guts. It takes, it takes, it, takes yeah. uh, it makes us uncomfortable yeah, to it makes, Because we have a conscious self-assumption of what we are. Yeah, we don't want to work for anything. We just expect, be, like, expect it to be given to us. I mean, we're just like, oh, well. Yeah, it should be given to me because, you know, I'm American and I deserve it for some reason. Like, I have, like, privileges and stuff when I don't. But, I mean, it's just our society now that's been grown and molded towards this aspect. And it needs, it needs to come around to a different dynamic, a different yeah, point of view. So that we're actually helping people instead of, I mean, I feel like, instead of ourselves. Tony, what is your success secret? Success secret? Yeah, what is the secret of success according to you? Ooh, that's a hard one. Mm -hmm. It's nothing is easy here. No, it's not. Everyone says that uh, South Easy, you know, crap, it's not South Easy, it's hard. No, success comes from hard work and dedication and believing that you could do it is the main one. If you believe and think that you can do it, you're already halfway there. And you just you just gotta put in the time and effort to go up the go the rest of the way. I mean, if it takes time and money 
and you're willing to sacrifice for it, I mean, you can do it as long as you um, stay true to what you believe and, you know, your desires for, I mean, I guess for yourself, I mean, for me, I mean, it's my desires and what my plans and hope and, like, what I can do for the future and stuff for the people. But it took a lot of sacrifices that I've been away from my family. Like, I've, I'd hardly never see my family even more, and that's what I focus on. I mean, but at the end of the day, I hope it all works out. But maybe I'll... What do you... Do you have anything to say to the haters? Haters? I don't even recognize haters. I mean, like, if you want to hate me, go for it. I don't care. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. Therefore, you don't matter and you don't exist. I mean, all haters do are just to hate on people to, I guess, to make themselves feel better for their lack of ability. Perseverance. Yeah, and, you know, because they, I have seen a lot of the same issues rising up because, you know, when you're trying to progress in your life, trying mm -hmm. to improve your life, you're becoming better every day. Before you know it, they see a different person and they're like, oh, he's changed. Oh, yeah. He has just changed. And they try to bring you down. They try to bring you down. Because, because they want to get you on their level. And it's sad, and that's what's also wrong with America right now. Because we have so many people that are like, oh, why is he trying to... Improve himself, right? Yeah. Like, like, literally, they think, like, why is he trying to improve yeah. himself? What is wrong with him? Something's wrong with him. Yeah. Where do you see yourself 10 years from, the, from now? 10 years from now, hopefully with a family and a job that I love that I can make money in, but also give back to the people that have helped me get this far in my life and be able to just live without, I mean, without all this struggle and help people through what I've struggled with and help their lives less bad. Tony, you have anything to say to the kids or whoever is watching this? What, well, what is life? Well, just uh, for whatever you're doing and for whatever reason you're watching this, I just hope that you don't give up on your dreams and your passions and continue to no matter what, work hard and just don't give up, even though at times sacrifices, either in your time or money, will you'll have to accept that they'll have to be made. But don't look at it in the short term, but look for the long term goals and to focus on them. And just, just keep an eye out for the small things in life. I mean, if you can accept the small things and value the small things that happen, in your life, then you'll realize that, I mean, your long-term goals will come and you'll be able to go through life more easy and, you know, be able to live and be able to get outside of your comfort zone and stuff. So, don't give up. That was like a presidential <laughs> dialogue, man. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're a lawyer. Yeah. You, you, you want to say something to me? As a, as a friend or as a human being? Well, I mean, it's, it's interesting that you came over here to this country like on like $800 and now you're going through college, you work like two jobs and you're, it's like, that's like what, that's why I used people, to work for two, I used to work two jobs, now I have a business. Yeah, and that's what like, that's the American dream. Like, people come over here with, like, no money, and then they put themselves through college and stuff. By the, by the way, you just mentioned something that nobody knows. Yeah, well... Nobody knows. Back home, nobody knows that, you know, mm -hmm. how I came over here, what I did. Uh, that story is not out in the market yet. But I don't really care if it's out in the market, because I'm not the same person anymore. Yeah. By the time I left, and... Uh, well, I appreciate it, man. Well, you're welcome, man. It's just, it, it inspires. I mean, it can inspire people. I mean, even for other immigrants or other people who want to come over here 
and you know have the American dream if it still exists. But yeah, I just like there's opportunities here. I mean, also in like other places and stuff. I mean, as long as you're willing to work hard for it, I mean, you can do it. Well, Mr. Tony Hill, welcome to the show. This is Dallas Rio. And I really appreciate you taking your time from your busy schedule and sharing your thoughts with the people who are going to be watching this. You're and we're going to we're going to keep in touch. I know it. I just know it. We're mm -hmm. going to keep in touch. And probably we're going to get into a lot of stuff together. Oh, yeah. And I hope you guys have got something back from this. This is Tony here.